Over here you can see that I got a bunch of shapes and if you want to work around and then blur the shapes out, then you can use something called the background blur effect. So to do that, I'm going to go around onto the shapes option right here and you can bring in any shape of your choice. In my case, I'm going to go around and bring in an ellipse and click and drag around an ellipse right here. So for the background blur to work, you can select any color right here and then decrease out the opacity. So what happens when you apply the background blur is that it'll uh, apply blur to the background of the, the object. Um, that is this oval right here. So everything behind this object will be blurred out. So if I were to go around over here and go to effects, click on plus, and instead of drop shadow, if I were to select out, uh, let's say for example, instead of drop shadow, I'm going to select background blur. You can see that a bit of background has been blurred out. To increase the level of effect of background blur, I can click right here and increase the blur amount over here. And you can see that the background blur is more as you can see. So I can click this over here as well. And then if I were to go around into the color effect, I can decrease the um, amount of opacity and you can see the background blur right here. But if the opacity is all the way to zero, you do not see it. So this should be at least one person in level right here for the blur to work out as you can see right here. So I'm just going to go around right here and increase out the blur. And what you can also do is work around with uh, gradient right here. So if I were to go around into a linear gradient right here, this is how it works. So if I were to select out this color, really decrease out the blur level out, you can see that this is how it works. Let me just go around over here onto radial right here and you can see that we can also apply out the blur level right here. You can decrease out the blur right here just like this and that is how it works. You can increase and decrease this. You can select this color out and decrease out and you can see that you can really increase out the blur level from center to the end if you were to do this. So you got a gradual blur over here well, if you use the gradient as you can see right here. So I'm just going to close this and you can see that there's a gradual blur. So there's more blur at the center but less blur at the area where there is less uh, more opacity as you can see right here. And that is how you can work around with the background blur effect inside of uh, Figma design file. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.